kids and cadets welcome back to tommy time appreciate you coming out we're working on this 2019 m260 i had done a video on how to remove the recoil <clears throat> this unit came in a, a group of two i got a murray select rider and i got this rusty <clears throat> dead machine we went through it in the last video determined that it would fire off with a shot of happy juice aka carb cleaner so we're going to go through and do a carb clean on this <clears throat> guy just left he had messaged me on this baby 20 older gentleman his son came out to translate they Looked around, looked around, looked around at everything I had. And they seemed to be shopping for price. They started looking at all the other stuff I had out. He said, um, do you have any Turos? I said, well, Turos are typically self-propelled. You're going to have <clears throat> front wheel drive or, or rear wheel drive. And I said, they're more expenses so i brought out a taro with a kohler on it i had 180 on it he said how about 150 and i says no i got the prices marked on him i says if you don't have a lot of money this is 140 i kept bringing them back to this one or this one so he he um looked at this craftsman too i said 150 this is the one that came in the group of five for 120. i got this thing all cleaned up lawrence carroll gave me a, a motivational speech make them shine so this one was ready to go he uh, pushed it around the yard and got it all dirty again but anyway <clears throat> So that one turned out. So he cleaned out his ashtray and gave me 177. I said, oh, that's, that's fine. So he had seen my Cub Cadet Zero turn the Z Force 50. And he said, what's this? I said, I'm waiting for a couple of parts. It'll be ready when the parts come in. I said, um, 1,000. It's got 1,034 hours, <clears throat> so he didn't seem to squawk. I told him the blades were good. He said he has a zero turn single cylinder, but it's in the shop. Something about it's been there for three months. I, I think the um, dad may have had a, a business um, landscaping business lawn service business from what I could gather so I don't know why he took the Toro self-propelled maybe he just needed an edging machine so I told him I'd message him when the um, cubby was ready <clears throat> so if he says 500 I'm gonna say I'm just gonna list it I'm gonna give him first <clears throat> dibs if he takes it for a thousand I won't have to advertise maybe I'll take nine for it I told him a thousand just to <clears throat> see if he was interested he didn't squawk he looked around he didn't didn't seem to phase him with the pricing So I'm going to order a shoot, side shoot for it, <clears throat> which is 80 to 90 bucks for six ounces of plastic in a rod. So when you get an older machine, the stuff sits in the warehouse somewhere. They got to justify holding it. The price is... Uh, reflect that okay so let's keep going on this thing I hope you can see what's been happening yeah you can see 
It's uh, 94 in the shade, so it's blistering hot. Kind of was inside the air, air conditioning. So I got to remove the uh, recoil. This is the deal on this one. <clears throat> Just because the recoil holds the tank down on this, this model, the M260. I didn't bring out my DeWalt. We're doing it by hand today. If this thing starts, like I said in the last video, I'll leave it on the rotten deck and wait for a blown engine to come in. I'll use this, do a little Frankenstein. So that's my update. One sale today, 177. Oh, and he... <clears throat> The son asked me, because the uh, dad asked him to find out if I had any two-cycle stuff. So I ended up giving him um, some weed whacker line and a in-tank fuel filter. He said, how much? I said, um, no, no charge. So I gave him that. He seemed happy. Want, he wanted to know if I sold any weed eaters. I says no. I stick with. The um, mowers. So we just spilled a little gas here. There's an issue with the. Cap caps loose. May may have. Um, lost the o-ring for it or something <clears throat> let's see if we can get an indication why this thing would not run holy holy cow it's showing itself wow i can't believe that plus we drip dripped a little out but you won't believe what this stuff looks like holy crap this wasn't stuff i brushed and it fell in this came out of the tank all that debris and then you got your water level down there saturated with junk <clears throat> ta-da i haven't seen that much debris in the tank one of these tanks in a long time that was a huge amount of yard waste in the waters bringing it all down so let's separate the carb from the tank. I'm sure we're going to add more water to our bowl here in a minute. Move that out of the way so I don't spill gasoline all over myself. Okay, we'll air blast this out. Look at all the water droplets that I spilt here. The gas has evaporated. The water stayed behind. That's a good indicator there, right? <clears throat> I got so much crap to fix now. I realized I took in eight um, mowers that Saturday when I got the Troy built rider. I got five from my neighborhood guy. I got oh, probably nine now. I'm thinking adding them up. <clears throat> got this one here and the rider and then the uh, a landscaping guy I helped in the past past couple weeks. I he brought out a mower and I adjusted the RPM. Well, he, he ended up bringing me to one of his and then one that I had sold because I recognized the blue price sticker on it. 
<clears throat> I didn't sell it to him. He said he got it from somebody else. But they had, it was just a Boland's 21 standard pusher. They had put new wheels on it for some reason. I haven't had a chance to look at that. Like I said, I got mowers pouring out of my ear. So this is chicken noodle soup. You can't really see because of the, there's no light, but I can see the water dancing around in there. <clears throat> A lot of water and some debris. So you recall in the last video, there was a bunch of water and crap on the, the end of the plug. So this thing was just pulling in water into the cylinder every chance it had. Let's take the cartridge out. It looks like it's open, but there's something there, either water or gas. Slimy cartridge. Secondary jets open. Pour more water into the container. See if it's slimy here. Kind of blocked up there on that top hole. I can't see through it. Some slimy on this side. So let's activate our high pressure nozzle. So I've got confidence this is going to be a runner. It'll be a good backup uh, mower to have, mower engine. Okay, bowl cartridge is clean. Let's do a little blasty blast on this. We had picked up um, the discrepancy in the last video. The, the arm was on this side of the, the choke plate. It should be back here on the back side, like so. But water was our real issue. This, this backwards linkage thing was a secondary issue. Okay, I'm happy with that. Time to put it back together again. I know you guys are giving, gonna give me hell. Some of you are for not washing this off, but in the sake of saving time, I'm just gonna plow ahead. I just want to show you how to get these off. You've probably seen me do this hundreds of times. It's not difficult. It'd even be faster if I had my DeWalt impact. But today's old school day. So we'll screw this down. 
get it snug, keep going back and forth, snuggy, snuggy, a little more snuggy, snuggy, huggy, and then we're done. We gotta grab the O-ring and the keeper, which stayed on. Put the black O-ring down into the little cavity it sits in and then the keeper keeps it in place. Click that in. Now this is just a reverse. Put the choke linkage on, throttle linkage, manipulate this back down over the intake tube. I'm going to blast some air into this. A lot of water. These larger tanks have a Seems like little hiding places for the water. I'm going to take a little bit of this gas that's clean on the top. Just um, give it a little pour. Kind of shake it around, get any of that last remaining. condensation out. And then we're good to go. I'm going to put it back together. We don't want to contaminate the carburetor right off the bat with more water. Just shaking the rest of the clean out gas into the container. It's dry. Somebody's barbecuing. I'm looking at my flags out front, front porch, and it's blown from the north. So somebody down the streets cooking something, some sort of red meat. Okay, fuel line goes on, now time for the backing plate. I'll blast a little air over this thing. Like I said, normally I would clean this stuff up if you guys weren't here. I would um, spray it down, let it dry out in the sun, then put it back on. 
So I won't put a whole lot of gas in this thing. I normally don't anyway, because this thing's going to be sitting until I need it again. I just want to see if it's going to run. I would say 95% chance. We're going to be in good luck. Just because I see a lot of non-flammable material in there. Garbage and water. That's why I'm saying it's going to be a pretty pretty confident this thing's going to work as desired or described. Got to figure out what I'm going to do next. <clears throat> I was already inside cooling off. I was researching the side chute for the Z-Force. Like I said, they're um, like 80 bucks, 85 on up. Hate to do it, but I want to make it a complete machine. I'm thinking about um, changing out the ignition switch too. I ordered a replacement switch that hasn't come in. Right now, you use a screwdriver, you put the switch to on position, and there's a push button somebody's put there to start. So I think I paid 15 for the switch, so I'd have to figure out how they wired the push button, put all the wires back onto the um, switch. So I haven't taken the um, dash plate off yet to see their wiring hack. I would just have to go back to factory settings, so to speak, <clears throat> remove their hack job. I don't think my customer did. I think he ha had somebody at a shop do it. I can put this here temporarily. Let's get the aftermarket recoil on. I still haven't rebuilt the original one yet. <clears throat> like I said, I got projects pouring out of my ears. I'm just taking a little oil from the dipstick and putting it on these threads. these sheet metal screws. <clears throat> so it's not bad here in the shade. I'm working under my oak tree on the driveway. neighbor was just leaving on a ninja they rode a, a bicycle to work and they must have saved enough money for a, a motorcycle they're on a ninja now that's fun okay what do we got we gotta put some gas in it lower it to the ground and then we're good Yeah, yeah, because I put a, a blade on it. It didn't come with a blade, and I wanted a blade on it. Yeah, because we had tried to start this thing, and it fired off with juice. So these, these two guys that came out, they were looking at a couple of self-propelled and they were pulling and pulling wouldn't start and I said huh that's unusual of me to have non-running stuff in my front line 
So I looked at the tanks of both, and they were both bone dry. So I must be lacking on my gas preparedness. Okay, let's lower this crap box down. Get it up on the concrete. So these these guys started one machine on the lawn. I wouldn't call it a lawn. It's sand now because the grass is all dead. We haven't had any rain. So it created a dust storm blowing sand and dust everywhere. So when he turned it off, I says, move it over on the driveway next time so it doesn't blow a lot of sand. I said, sorry, sorry. I said, no problem. Okay. Let me push this over here. Let me grab you. And we're going to try it. Okay, you're in the shade. I'll try it with that dirty air filter. No, no, I won't. I think I got a better one. It's used, but it's not filled. Okay. Let's see. Almost. Almost. We plug the plug in. We did. Uh oh. Oh, getting closer. Do we have any moisture in the cylinder? Burning off. Okay, pulled on it a few times, got worried, but my confidence level improved when it started to kick off, and it finally kicked off. Structurally in terrible shape. You can see all the um, weakness in the frame right there. It did engage. Front wheel drive did engage. So I'll mark this one as a, a running machine and wait for a blown up machine to come in. I think these are 725s if I'm not mistaken. The M60 I think is a 725. I know it's a larger engine. It's got that bigger style tank on it. Anyway, that's all I got for you. That was a little carb cleany cleany when I saw the swimming pool in the container I knew would rectify itself appreciate you guys coming out checking out my channel I don't know what I'm gonna go to next <clears throat> there's so much stuff I got to prioritize what's happening I'm gonna drink a little bit of dew take a breather 
next thing I'm probably going to do is finish up the uh, best or only running unit out of the group of five for 120. Carb clean on this, which we did together, and it runs, looks beautiful. And I've got the other one around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. This one ran, actually. We, we motivated it with a little carb spray, and it fired off. It's in a little rougher condition than that crafty. But I think I'll go to this one, automatic choke. I may throw this one right up on the table, 2014 TB110. This would be a good candidate. Like I said, it started, but I'm going to go through the carb just as a precautionary. Clean out the tank. Fuel could be borderline old versus stale. Okay, happy with this one. You guys have a good day today. Appreciate you coming out. Maybe I'll bring you along for that carb clean if I throw that one right up onto the table. But first thing is first, please tip your waitress and wait staff. Mr. Mason and I are going to have eight ounces of dew. Eight, eight and a half ounces of dew. Do the doo-doo. Adios, amigos.